but just had to donate during this section. You guys are doing some great work and doing it rather impressively. Snowfats, it's good to see you're still doing well. Say hi to your family for me. We have a $50 donation from Discraft, showing support for SGDQ after dark, uncensored. We have a $30 donation from CJ Ferg. Hey guys, love the Hotline Miami 2 run. One of my favorite games of all time. Great music and great story. Let's let this go to killing the animals. $50 from Hugo Brasky. Love the hotline games. Can someone please explain the save kill the animals comments people are making? We have $50 from Chaos. Donated on Hotline Miami 2, so kill the animals. Thanks for the great runs. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous. Hey guys, first time donating. Thanks for the awesome event and running Hotline Miami 2. It's one of my favorite games. Good luck with the rest of the runs and don't let those deaths get you down, Duke. I know you were born with thick skin. We have a $5 donation from B Walls. Shout out to all runners this summer. All you guys are incredible to watch. Addicted to all those GDQ runs for a good year and a half now, and it's all for such a fantastic cause. I never end up playing Hotline 2, so thanks to Duke for running this in under an hour. Oh, my ears. You've donated too much. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Should be fine. Everything's I'm fine. I still gonna donate like 2k later. <laughs> gonna oh. not pull that again. God. Oh look, Final Fantasy. All right. Okay. It's not pulling a shot is actually harder than it looks. Oh, we can. Jeez. We can see it on that monitor. We're also. live. Are we? Uh, Already. Uh, nice. Hi, mom. My body's not ready. Okay, my screen is clear, by the way. Yeah, this resolution. My mind's telling me no, but my body, my <sighs> body is telling me yeah. Yeah. 
Way too quiet. <laughs> Whoa, no, <laughs> don't do that. Uh, volume is good on the game. Sounds okay to us. Uh, oh, man. Your foot's going to fall asleep. Uh, lots of things are going to fall asleep right here. No. <laughs> we'll make sure it's not. Give yourself the stranger. With your we're, foot. We're... We're live. We're live. On Are we the stream. live? Vuligen. <laughs> you think I don't know that? I I question whether you know that or not. And bubbles don't fuego. Uh, well, as long as we're live, I uh, wanted to <laughs> do a quick announcement before my run starts. So, after my Ori run earlier, I uh, thanked a lot of people for participating in the Ori community uh, by name. And uh, I made a big mistake, which is that I missed a lot of other people. And one of my good friends in the community reached out to me. And he made me realize how kind of crappy what I did was. Because there's a lot of people who also contributed to us that, uh, that didn't, didn't really give the appreciation that they deserve either. So uh, I just want to quickly say also thank you to my friends Tara, SSJ Henrik, Oshelix, Grimelios, M. Rasmus, Boltok, Joka, Blue Ezra Party, and Camius, a lot of people that I've just interacted with uh, over the time playing Ori, Gyu, DBX. Uh, the list could go on. I, 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 I don't want to make this me listing every person on the Ori leaderboard, but I just want to say that I really appreciate every one of you. And so I made my donation uh, from the Ori run. It was $375. Was, that was the highest total someone gave me. Uh, that seemed fairly reasonable. So I made that all to my friend who uh, I respect greatly and who brought this to my attention, Grim Elias, uh, for the file name for Shuffle Knight. So all of my runner's choice during this run is going to that as well. So thank you, Grim. I'm sorry that I was really unappreciative of you guys earlier. Anyway. Cool. All right, so now I'm actually ready to do a speed run. Let's go fast. Yay. Uh, since I have this handy little foot pedal, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, SDA timing, which is how we normally time this run. So I'll just go ahead and start the game. So we generally we start the timing when my actual character starts moving, so Proper store is I'm not going to step on this for a few seconds now. Ain't so simple with this one. Oh man! Whoa! 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 Very important. Oh, <laughs> of course. Also, if you could turn down game volume just a little bit, that would be great. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded Thanks, that's on a great. rock in the sky. And here we go. He gets up. Sets off for the so, welcome to Bastion. Where everyone agreed to this game is pretty good. Uh, it's from a developer called Supergiant Games. They made this and released it in 2011 for Xbox 360, eventually PC. Uh, we're playing the all-story yeah, all levels category of this game where you basically you just complete the story as normal without using a glitch called core duplication. So this uh, speedrun is... I was about to make a Twin Galaxies joke. Maybe that's a little off-color. <laughs> At least it would have been original. Yeah, it's good to know that with a core duplication, this run is actually like 15 minutes. Yeah, and I've, I've, I've run uh, this game many times with the core duplication glitch. The basic idea is that uh, the game lets you finish as soon as you've collected 14 uh, cores and or shards. It treats them as the same thing, and uh, it doesn't really force you to actually finish all the levels. So if you can duplicate cores, you can just finish it by finishing seven levels, and that's enough. But uh, in this run, we're going to actually do every level. And there's a lot of really good ones. This game is really pretty. It has a lot of great music. And of course, we've got Rux, the narrator. 
And I can never play without uh, my subtitles so that I can remember all the lines that I've memorized from 1,090 hours of playing this game and counting. Did you explain why you're using the uh, mouse and keyboard? No, I can't really explain that. It's inexplicable. <laughs> <laughs> what I actually mean by that is uh, basically the reason we use the mouse and keyboard controls is that uh, it turns out to be the fastest. And what I can't explain is why it's the fastest. Uh, it seems that your mouse movement speed, as long as you're clicking to move, your mouse movement speed gets added to the speed of your rolls. And so you just move 30% faster for, I don't know, reasons I can't fathom. Also, my gun just decided to aim at nothing, which is always fun, a little random thing that can happen there. Also, a cool thing to note for those two turrets, I think pretty much every run in Bastion has a different strat for those. No, Snowy, pretty much only you do. Really? I'm pretty only sure Haas you. is a different one. Ah, uh, well. I like to be special. Rude. You, you do. Uh, so, Snowy behind me on the couch. Actually, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves first? Uh, I'm Snowy Snowwolf. I am Bubbles Del Fuego. I'm Dr. T. Jobs. So, uh, Snowy has actually run this category. Uh, of this game, as well as the uh, new game any percent category, and uh, he is really pretty good at both. But uh, the one thing that that makes me crazy is he has this one strategy that he does. Oh yeah, uh, I keep forgetting there are probably people watching for the first time. Yeah, gates in this game are kind of optional. Was that setup new? Uh, that setup is new. Yeah, that's yeah. brand new. Uh, a guy named Maki Thirteen found it. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, Arcdice made a video of it recently. Yeah, because before that setup was found with, uh, with the Whirlwind, it was a pretty inconsistent clip, uh, depending on how many rolls you had to do before getting through that gate, which drove most of the any percent community mad and made a lot of them like, kind of enjoy less the category. But now since that setup is here, a lot of people are actually coming back. Yeah, I mean, uh, we joke... I built the wrong building. Anyway, we joke a lot yeah, when running this game that uh, runs tend to, hello? Nice. <laughs> runs nice. tend to be Wharf District yeah. IL attempts, now which, uh, oh, sticky keys, yes. Oh, oh. good. <laughs> 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 Dude, I love sticky keys. That's so the sticky. Maybe I should do the run with sticky keys. Yeah, it's, it's I don't, so, so wait, so what do sticky keys actually do? Make your keys sticky. Oh, so is this like uh, is this like Honey Dungeons? Yeah. Awesome. That's that's great. I'm I, I did not get that reference. <laughs> I understand that reference. You should you should Google Honey Dungeons. You'll enjoy it. Um, good level, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing some sort of game here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, a good thing to mention here is uh, we're actually building the buildings in the Bastion in a specific order, uh, which I botched earlier, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I'll just do this. And the reason is that we want to get what's called text skips. Uh, so when you go to the Skyway and you open it up, Rux will sometimes want to say a line of dialogue. And while he's saying that, he'll prevent you from leaving. But if before you open the Skyway he's already talking, then he won't be able to start that other line, and he won't be able to stop you from leaving. So you generally want him to be talking when you go to the Skyway. And the main way that we accomplish that, cool, I clicked the desktop, uh, is by setting up basically opening the right building or building the right building at a given time to get him to say something beforehand. All kid can do. This part here is basically an auto scroller. Yeah, actually, uh, this Shit, level is a great down. time for like donation comments oh, yeah. or whatever you'd like. I've got a fifty dollar donation from Craden. Donated every GDQ I've seen. Can't see a reason to stop now. Keep up the great work. Right. We've got a thirty dollar donation from Anonymous. I've been watching GDQs for about three years now, and I had to donate for Bastion. It still gives me feels to see so many people from so many places come together and share their passion to not only entertain, but to save hundreds of thousands of lives. Here's to the GGQs yet to come. 
We have a three hundred dollar donation from James. Nice. I've been watching games done quick since AGDQ twenty thirteen, but up until now I couldn't donate donate to due to financial Don't issues. Don't take you guys have done an amazing good for Doctors Without Borders, and I hope it continues to last in the years to come. P.S. Save Zul from Bastion, and then save the animals. Um, something to note right here that uh, Wilton just did is that he manipulated how he killed the order he killed it is the the enemies, the scumbags actually. So that he would level up at the right time and one shot one of the scumbags w without wasting um, a mine and also resetting his uh, potions for his abilities. Not only that, but that's actually one of the only ways to speed up this level. Yep. And actually now there's nothing left that I can really speed up the level with, so feel free to resume donations. Yep. <laughs> We have a $15 donation from the kid. Hey there, Vuligen. Glad to see you're back at this. So I'm donating $15 now just because I'm glad to see this return. Here's the deal. Last time you did this at a GDQ, you messed up the ending choice and saw a the game. So if you make the correct ending choice, I'll donate another 15 If not, I'll donate another 5 I'm not truly heartless. Good luck. That went so well last time. So I did intentionally put that uh, donation in Sunny Vim this time just to be like, no, really, I can actually pick the right one. You practiced. Yeah, I well, practiced practice hasn't finish. gone that well. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's worth noting that uh, for the ending choice, in like every category of this game, you do not pick up the hidebound journal item in Prosper Bluff. And that actually turns out to be the item that specifically allows you to pick the evacuation ending for some reason. Like, if you don't pick up that item, you just can't pick that ending. No idea why. It makes no sense to me. Uh, and so, in every category, you pretty much can't choose any ending but restoration. And, well, muscle memory is a thing, so... Anyway, we're out of the outer scroll right now, so we'll get back to actual gameplay. Uh, and we can talk about some, some fun things about the ground forming up. That's Actually, would one, of, one of you guys like to talk about the ground forming up? Will you donate for every time you fall? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to count. I'm going to fall so many times. Oh I, I just want everyone who's watching to realize that I am like literally dead on my feet right now. <laughs> like, so the, like, the ground doesn't have like active collision until it's actually where it has to stay in its set spot. So when it's moving, you can fall right through it, and it, it just doesn't look reasonable. So hopefully we won't see that happen. But hopefully we also do, so it can, you know, so it makes sense. So do whatever you want. So this, uh, this level is particularly nice because it's one of the few places where you can just keep rolling. Like you said, you know, the ground has to form up before you can go or else you're going to fall. Oops. Speaking of falling, <laughs> there wasn't even ground to form out there. It's just a little skip that I was trying there where you uh, roll into the sky bridge at the same time that you uh, hit it. Ugh. Anyway, this level is normally pretty nice, unless you screw it up a lot. But uh, the uh, idea here is that uh, you roll normally like 30% faster than the game really expects you to. And that causes you to outpace the ground a lot. But in this level, it turns out that if you roll normally, uh, the ground does actually form up at the right speed. Uh, in the very next level, you will see that that is not always the case. Oh, I, I think Snowy likes the next level. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Hanging Gardens is uh, a pain because sometimes, the, uh, like Bubbles was saying, the, the ground has to be in the place where it's going to stay for it to have like any kind of collision. But in Hanging Gardens, that's not exactly the case. Sometimes the ground will be there, but for some reason there's still a hole there, and you will just fall through stairs or solid ground just because the game feels like it. Like the worst part of Hanging Gardens has to be the stairs right at the beginning. Yep. Because if you try to go too fast in those stairs, I guarantee you will fall. So you're going to see me walking a lot in this stage. The dead welcome. And I'll probably still fall. The but we'll see. After a lot of the optimization is knowing exactly when you're able to roll and when you have to These walk. Folks never nice. Saw the <laughs> As we're talking about, so rolling downstairs is. IRL must so hurt. Close. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we do a neat little trick where we roll off screen and then uh, throw a grenade at a turret that you can't even see. 
This you guy is amazing. After all. The Thunder Brothers didn't make it. Also, it's worth mentioning that no playing in windowed board. mode, which didn't really like doesn't matter in any interesting way. I just I just use that as an easy way to be able to do things like uh, in between levels, you can't tell where the mouse cursor is in game. But if you move the mouse pointer off the actual game window, you can find where it is and use that for positioning. And I also use that for some of the off-screen grenade throws. The, the risk of that, though, also is that you can also click outside of the window very easily. I've already done that once, Mr. Run. <laughs> I'm sure I'll do it a couple more times. Folks sticky like keys, right? Never been a oh my gosh! Should I, should I turn on sticky keys? I I I really want to turn on sticky He's keys. The It'll help. That's two. strats. The kid and I introduce ourselves and kind. Also, in windowed modes, there's this uh, Both to him wonderful thing and called to each other for the first time. No, no, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a thing, but it's not wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are Basically, be um, what jaunting is, is um, well, when you have a certain option turned on in the game, uh, the game compensates for lower co slower computers by keeping the game going while it lags. I don't know if that's the correct thing. And um, on faster computers, you can actually click outside the window while rolling, and it's going to shoot you very far in the, di in the direction you were rolling while ignoring collision, sure, hence making a lot of levels very trivial. Yeah, it's something about the way the game like separates the display frame rate from uh, like the physics frame rate. I missed the switch. Please hit the switch. Uh, so I'm getting the, the musket here. Obviously, it takes a few seconds to wait for the cage to open up, but the musket's going to come in very, very handy in general. A very, uh, very annoying level when it comes to falling. All they want is a warm place to stay. So there we just have to kill that one turret in order to open the way to the core, and then we can just roll past that other gate. Like I said, gates are optional. And you're going to see that again at the end of this level. Some gates are just more optional than the others. <laughs> excellent. Excellent reference. Kid's stash of grenades is there for him if things get even worse. So at the end of this level, there's this big like arena where you're supposed to fight all sorts of crap. They and there's the like two giant scumbags, and uh, oh right, we're done. That was now. a good fight. Nothing left. Thank no you, thank you. Yep. You can applaud. I mean, that was <laughs> almost died. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh. Frame perfect. Agreed. Pixel perfect as well. Sub pixel perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Said that the same frame. So now we're heading to uh, one of the shorter levels in the run, Pith Orchard, which I really enjoy because there's a neat uh, strat no at the end to, the to uh, no I guess, beat the quote-unquote boss of this level. There's just like a big statue of the god Pith. Pith well, I don't even understand nice. how that, <laughs> what the even just happened there. It's just the ground in this game. Yeah. In time, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a grenade here without locking on, miss, and then throw two more to kill that dude. <laughs> so that first grenade is supposed to be thrown from a different position, but I uh, derped. And uh, when you do that, so the, the grenades that we picked up, when you throw one without locking onto a target, it takes a very high arc and takes a long time to land and hit anything. But when you lock onto something with shift, which is the defend key, uh, well, I guess it's mine. I'm not sure actually what the defaults are anymore. I totally don't remember. Uh, it throws at a very low arc directly at the thing that you're targeting. So uh, you can use the high arc from the first throw and then close in on the enemy and then use a lock-on throw and they'll both pretty much hit at the same time and Pith only has so much HP. And right here we're going to a very interesting level. A lot of skips, uh, lots of way to make it faster. I can't, I can't handle your sarcasm. <laughs> it's actually an auto-scroller, so this is pretty fun. Psych! <laughs> Psych! Do you want to take a nap? Oh, yeah. let's, let's, let's do that. So it's pretty late. We're all pretty tired here, so... I think the kid's pretty tired, too. And, and, and the music's pretty nice, actually. The, the redeeming, redeeming point of uh, this level is that the music is really nice in this level. One of my favorite songs, actually, in the game. <sighs> Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. We've got a $30 donation from <laughs> Ellie169. <laughs> Been waiting all day for Bastion. Hype! Now I just gotta hang till the weekend for Legend of Zelda. Link is the best princess. Last note, 
Thanks for an amazing day of streaming. Has gotten me through a very bad patch of health today and yesterday. They try to cut her off. We have ten dollars from Ark Chin of Fail. Staying up till 3 a.m. to catch Bastion Run since it's my favorite game and my personal speed. They try to slow Money down. goes to the evacuation ending because it's canon and faster. Good luck on the run, Religion. <laughs> Thanks, Arkana. I appreciate it. They try to knock her out. It's gonna be a scary way to wake up, just surrounded by slimy men. <laughs> 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 So we're about to come to the end of the first well, half of the outer school, hard. so I'll actually sit up and get ready to play the game. Uh, neat little trick here, contributed by uh, another ASL runner, uh, Spectral Chimera. If you hold the shield down while you're uh, getting like knocked into the air, like when you uh, the barge finishes, then you just pop up in the same place, which is actually never like a time save, but it's just kind of neat and makes it easier to position. So now I'm going to do uh, Risky Strats. I mean, the rest of the game is Risky Strats. So I picked up uh, a spirit earlier at the distillery called Wear Whiskey. I didn't... Please, dude. Hit me. No, hit me. Something hit me. All right, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I picked up Wear Whiskey. Wear Whiskey causes uh, my crit rate to go to 100% if I am below 1 third HP. And as it happens, I'm below 1 third HP. So every attack will now crit and deal a crap load of damage. It's kind of like a Berserk so mode or like a Red Pierce Stone Ring or something. Side. Indeed, but this also means I'm at 1 third HP, so it's a little risky. Uh, here it's not that dangerous because this level just isn't like particularly scary, but I'm going to do this again in a level called Joss and Bog coming up, and uh, yeah. that's pretty risky, especially because that involves a death for speed strats. <sighs> I stood there for the freaking <laughs> fun. Hit me. Yeah, a fun thing to note is that in Bastion, if you have a full uh, potion inventory and you uh, like touch a potion that's on the ground, you will automatically consume it and restore some HP, hence um, turning off the yeah. Were Whiskey buff. Yep, so I just fell intentionally one more time to uh, get it back. And I'm just going to stand far, far away from this potion over here. <laughs> uh, normally, I would actually uh, have used the potion earlier on while setting up the Were Whiskey so that I wouldn't have had a full inventory, but I forgot. They want that core real bad. Oops, that's not how you do that. Please don't kill me, thank you. Go away. No, come back. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the You can upgrade head. almost every weapon in the game, um, but technically Three the shield is a weapon in a way close. that you can counterattack uh, many attacks in the game. Like those birds and they came and attacked, you can almost do all the damage that they're going to do to them. Just reverse it. Yeah, Kills counter them. blocks are really, really powerful, actually. Used to take an all right, so we were talking about ground earlier on. This level is pretty much um, the horrible ground level. Uh, a lot of the tiles um, come up separately and will create holes that you can fall into, which are basically like maybe a, a tenth of the size of the kid, but he still manages to fall through. Hit the switch. How's there it go again? Like yeah. the spot right here. Oh, he's yeah. walking nice and slow. There's a lot of spots. That one actually, it looks like the ground's not there, but it actually is. So yeah, that's how the level can be pretty confusing, ground-wise. This is actually, uh, last year there was a meme about what that's my favorite level was. This is actually one of my favorite levels because of, one, the ambiance, but two, it's fun to play. Unfortunately, there's also a lot of really hard skips here, so that one right there is actually a lot harder than it looked. This one is just terrible. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, of course, second try, sure, nice. why not? And then this one, I still don't understand the angle for this. First try, nice sure. job. Looks like you do. <laughs> Why not? And, you got the and, and we're falling for Zia. <laughs> I think I think falling there intentionally saves like half a second getting to her, so <laughs> nah, it's faster. I miss the old uh, Pike vaults. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish you could get Pike Vault in this category. So there's a, a secret skill called Pike Vault. We have hand grenades. It's our secret skill right now. There's another one called Pike Vault, and it is really, really useful in a speed run. When you combine it with the mouse movement uh, movement bonus, uh, you can get ridiculously fast Pike Vaults. Pike Vault's an ability that launches you in the air 
But that was more and then you have a targeting uh, circle, and you can one last uh, move around a bit, and then you land on the ground there and deal a bunch of damage. But we don't care about the damage. What we care about is we can use that to cross gaps that are very large that were not really intended to be crossed. And uh, if you look up like uh, an old 80% run of this game, uh, for example, the one I did at AGDQ 2014, you'll see like a bunch of pike vaults being used to just skip all sorts of stuff, particularly in Prosper Bluff. Right, so here I'm going to go wear whiskey. I wonder why Villagin hit that bush on the right. I don't know. I was just kind of, I was like, eh, whatever. It's just, oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, well, it doesn't matter too much. It costs like two or three seconds. They shouldn't have let the guard down. So yeah, uh, this level. <laughs> yeah, see ya. It's not a thing. That was a really quick. You busy clip to, to the end of the level right away. Nice, dude. Perfect. That was also a clip right there. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, that last clip at the end can be um, really annoying because if you get too close too fast, that plant will just move, like blink out of, in in your way, and you won't be able to clip unless you kill it. And can actually sometimes get you stuck in the rocks. Yeah, you can shift its spawn. It's really... And the angle to clip is just really weird, too. Exactly. Or pike vault can be useful to manipulate that stuff in other routes, also. So I'm going to do a big glitch here. I'm probably going to mess it up, but uh, the idea is I'm going to get within range of the smoking pipe to activate soul, uh, sorry, Rox's narration at the same time that I fall off the bastion. Nice. Got it. Is that the first time it's been in a GDQ? Uh, I think so. I think so. Because it was fun by Sarath, I but remember. There's a way to put it back to new game no, I think we did this last sure. year, but we did it in a different place. This one saves a lot more time than the place that we used to do it. After um, little episode, but, very importantly, I waited before opening the Skyway for Rox to start talking. Uh, if I didn't do that after this level, I would soft lock the game and the run would be over. And now for everybody's favorite level, well, Joss and Bog. Oh, what I love Joss and Bog. Oh, we all do. So what this is, without question, the hardest level in the run. I will probably lose better. a bunch of time here, but we'll see. If I pull it off of the uh, properly, it looks Shame really impressive. Place to fill that prescription. Um, but the idea is basically there's this hallucination places. sequence where there's a lot of enemies and a lot of combat involved. And I'm going to do almost all of it with Wear Whiskey active. And in fact, I, I mean, I obviously need to not die. But I also need to not lose wear whiskey, so I need to just stay at the same health level. I can't heal and I can't take extra damage for the most part. So I'm gonna get hit by these guys immediately. Hello. They do a fair bit of damage. And then I'm just gonna try to avoid getting hit by these other guys and also avoid picking up potions. Taking a little safe because I really, really wanna get this right mm. here. Oh, hello. Now here I can use Wear Whiskey. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> to take these guys out very quickly. And if I do that, normally a bunch of big squirts would spawn here, but instead, Zulf spawns early. Then I roll off the edge to get access to move a little earlier than normal. And now in the saloon, we're going to try to do a glitch called Zombie Kid. Nice. Come on. Alright, did we get it? Yes! Nice. Alright. That right there is actually a very hard trick. You have to kill um, the turret, the Scorch spawner, and the second turret in a very fast but not too fast order um, so that you can get Rondi to spawn early and then uh, get the other turret to kill you just in time for the stream to, uh, to switch. It's very hard on timing and it's very easy to miss so that was pretty impressive. Yeah, the main way it's easy to miss is just uh, dying. Because <laughs> if you die before that, you, you get one chance to carry on in uh, new game mode. And uh, that just means when you die, you can come back to life immediately in the place where you were. If you die a second time, you have to restart the area that you're in. And uh, so the most common way, because you have to take that mandatory death, is that uh, you die before that. And of course, the other most common way is something random drops a potion and you accidentally pick it up. What also can happen is that you kill the last turret too early 
or too late by missing it a bit with like maybe one of the bullets from the musket shot, and then you just can't do the glitch because Rondi does not spawn early. So this is the last uh, challenge of Dawson Bog, which is just doing this guy quick. Doing cool. So actually, I'm supposed to level up here, but because I did the swag strats in uh, Langston River to not kill things, yeah. I was pretty low on XP. <laughs> the XP management is actually pretty important, knowing which enemies to kill. And... Yeah, there's only two level ups in the course of this run, but when you get a level up, you get an explosion around you, and you also lose control for a few moments. And you get full health as well? Yes. So where whiskey is... Cool. And full uh, black tonics as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, all of those things you really, really want at specific times. So we use one in Melting Pot because you're going to level up in Melting Pot. Um, unless you literally kill nothing, I guess, which is pretty challenging. All right. Another one of my actual favorite levels is Rothus Lagoon. It's pretty fun. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds. So for some reason, if you get up immediately in this level, there's a log obstacle that just drops behind you. Originated here. I guess it's supposed to be in your way, but because they're fast, they it's not. Think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. Turns this out is what you can imagine pike faults look like. Ankle gators love ah, yes. The Queen and boosts. So that accomplishes two things. Ankle One, obviously, is they going fast through the level. Please clip through, through the thing. Asking nicely, helps. And uh, the other one is that I got Wear Whiskey, and I really want Wear Whiskey for this boss here, Queen Anne. And we'll see if I can get all my inputs into one cycle her. I just need to get a Pike Thrust, throw a grenade, shoot her with the musket, and then Pike Thrust again. Got it. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. It's a really small window. You so, you actually, a lot of people, when they play casually, don't actually realize you do not need to kill Queen Anne. You can get out of the level without doing that. But the amount, apparently we picked up the Fractured Monument, uh, the, amount of, <laughs> the amount of damage you have to deal to kill her is just barely higher than the amount of damage you have to deal to let her, uh, to let, for her to let you leave. Oh, man, you know what this is? Oh God, it's Bastion. And it's an other scroller. Oh, oh come yeah. on! <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Trish. <laughs> city in the world. Two words. Point the main. The we have an $120 donation from the Sound Defense. Right Here's the money I promised to donate during my Shante run, which I'm spreading across six donation incentives. Not Best of luck to all the runners in the marathon. Don't shop and soft lock the game like I did. <laughs> That's actually a distinct possibility. All that pressure. We have 30. Go ahead. We have $35 and two cents from Sporty Board 152. Shoutouts to the 502 crew. This donation is to the name to name the hero and Half-Life hero Pax Mug, in honor of Pax Mug, now and forever. We have fifty dollars from Ingrid. Just wanted to donate during Bastion, and also hype for two players, one controller, Dark Souls Two. We have twenty dollars from Kazadon. Go look on the run, Vula. Drop the lunky. We have twenty dollars from Ar Arctic Ice Fifty Six. Oh. Hello, Vulagen. Good luck on the run. Your Bastion and bonus stream dust runs last year at AGDQ 2014 or what got me into speedrunning so and I thank you for that. Please do not forget to tell us what's your favorite level. Donation <laughs> goes <laughs> Donation goes to the Wheel of Time dance party. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. That's pretty good. Uh, we have $100 from Anonymous. Best Hotline Miami 2 stream. Little late but <laughs> Dude, no, this is totally Hotline Miami. Can't you tell? It was right here. Looks like, like, like we're really like murdering dinner. all these plants, Near all the blood. Village and goes Okay, so maybe we didn't get. We have five dollars from Turtle Turtle. Bastion holds a very special place in my heart, and so I am staying up late just to cheer you on. Very glad to see this run, and very glad to donate for the first, but not last time. With much love from New Jersey and NYC. 
All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into swamp weed central. You ever try to dance side to side while holding your breath? <laughs> what? <laughs> you ever try to dance side to side while holding your breath? <laughs> well, happy. While Pecker's trying to prick you in the eye. Dude, these Pecker. Oh, nice. yeah. The desktop click. Yes. Make the auto scroller <laughs> slower. <laughs> Dude, we're going to click the desktop multiple fun. more times. I got this. We have $50 from Shinmara48. Bastion is one of my favorite games. Ab absolutely thrilling to see it being speedrun. Awesome SGDQ so far in general. A huge thanks to everyone who participates for bringing A plus inter entertainment to so many. Alright, we are actually nearing the end of the auto scrollers. But then at last, it's the end of the line. He'll be picking swamp weed out of those boots for days. Just have to finish this final little Turns section here. Got company up at the rail station waiting for him. Oh, hello, I'm getting shot. Not much. <laughs> nice. I didn't even know there was a hole in the ground there. All right, cool. That's because I never do this level this way. That's the fastest I've ever killed. <laughs> this is for you, says the man. Oh man. So now the the run is going to get pretty real. The next, uh, I mean, Justin Bog was the hardest level, but everything left is obviously not a. When the kid comes that's, that's to the man, obviously not auto scrollers, and also pretty well, challenging. Kid to do. Yeah, we're pretty much done with auto scrollers now. He took the shot. He took the hit, and he took that note. Also, let me let me think. I think the that next level is what I think it is. Sometimes I forget the level order in this game because, like, it, it doesn't really matter. I get to the to the level and I know which one it is and I do it right. Sometimes, <laughs> uh, but the next level, if I recall correctly, is called Free Cauldron. Finished, but our part is far from Sounds right. Over. Yep. And to answer the long-awaited question. Colford Cauldron is my favorite level in the game. Really? For real. Blew up in the calamity. My God. I know, right? <laughs> you have terrible taste. Everybody go to our speed run. <laughs> Everyone else <laughs> in uh, in the Bastion community probably hates this level. <sighs> and, uh, and I like it because I was one of the first people to get really good at it. There are plenty of people who are good at it now, too. Uh, they just still hate it, and I love it. The reason that this level is widely hated is, well, just look at what I'm having to do to get around without falling. It's pretty annoying. I think it has some good game feel, and uh, whenever you use the pike to go through all those bushes at the same time, it has a very satisfying feeling to it. For me, it's mostly about uh, the movement's very, like, involved, and uh, it takes a lot of knowledge to be able to do this level fast and not fall constantly. Like right there, to be able to get one bramble broken on that hit, uh, you just need to, like, you have to know a particular sequence of rules to do. So doing this level well requires practicing a lot. It also has the hardest single trick in the game. Uh, called the CC skip, which doesn't actually skip the entire level or even a substantial portion of it, <laughs> though you might think so. It saves like five seconds, and it's ridiculously hard to get. Fortunately uh, for us, it involves Pike Vault, so you can't even try it in this run. The arsenal's complete in case we need protection. All right, so next is Mount Zion. It's a pretty straightforward level. You can't write <laughs> Other than the fact that you cannot see the ground at the beginning. Oh, that's just details. There's no more mountains now. There's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go. But they ain't yet. Mount Zan is also one of the shortest levels in the game, which I really like. It's just it's quick to the point, and it has some neat movement. Yeah, and Sully cannot be used in any percent, which is really. Saddening to the any percent community because the core, yeah. uh, the shard cannot be duped. Not just ours. Because you lose control of your character while you pick it up. He's done what's best for him. Did I just have a stroke for a second, or did you guys see that thing that just happened with the camera? I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't realize. I was asleep. Uh, the, oh. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll watch the vod. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, the YouTube vods this year are being uploaded so quick. They so, are. Like, we have improved our process group. to do that. It's really awesome. We need an awful big. Oh my gosh! I can't roll. 
Just okay. a couple shots. Ah, oh, nice. No tech skip. Quarry's gotta have one. Rip. Yeah, so if you miss uh, a tech skip, you get what happens there, which is that as soon as I open the skyway, Rock starts saying something, Imagine and then I'm stuck waiting for him. To build a city like now, this right here is my favorite level, personally, work because uh, the rolling is uh, very tight and very precise. <laughs> he said it with perfect timing. <laughs> it is a cool level. Um, and it has one of the coolest tricks in the game. I have to agree with that. I definitely think this is my favorite trick in the game coming up. It's called the Lunky Drop. It's pretty funny, actually. Shoutouts to House Edge for finding this trick in the first place. And, uh, oh my gosh, does either of you guys remember who came up with the current setup we use? I sadly do not. Can we say it was me? I just am totally drawing a blank. And I apologize for that. But uh, basically what we're going to do here is d -d -d drop the Lunky. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a nice depth set drops. Drop the lunky. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, you, if you get lunky to job, jump into the right place, which is surprisingly hard because he's ridiculously uncooperative and generally just a jerk. Um, then you can just either he'll either jump directly off if you have perfect position, or if you have the slightly less than perfect position I had, he will jump into a place where you can just push him off with the musket. If that's the way it is. And that's pretty much faster than any other way of killing him, so that's I think that's what you use in every category except New Game Plus any percent. Uh sorry, ASL. No, actually I guess no, both I think, New Game uh, Plus categories. Yeah, exactly. We found out that it was actually faster Say to do that drop than killing him. Self. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I haven't done New Game Plus in a while, so... I think Arctice timed that. Shout out to Arctice, by the way. He's a runner in the community that found a lot of stuff since he started running this game. So, I think this game teaches an important life lesson right here, which is that when there are bad guys around attacking your home, what you should really do is just run away fast, and then... Death Warp. They'll just go away. No problem, everything's fine. Shadow's not hitting new game. The shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh. So, funny thing about that is, even if you do that, uh, the game doesn't uh, get overwritten until you actually, like, enter the soul regret. So it's not a big deal. Also, because I built the buildings in the wrong order at the beginning, I actually got a tech skip here that I normally don't. It's, it's like half a second, so it doesn't really matter. Put this mess behind us. So our Zendra Gate is interesting uh, because we're going to make use of uh, Wear Whiskey again, and that's going to require taking kind of very specifically timed hits in certain places. Uh, there's not actually that many, aside from just falling off the ground, which I really don't want to do because each one costs about 2.5 seconds. There's actually not that many opportunities to take a hit around here. In Burstone Quarry, you can take a lot of damage. Uh, we used to have Wear Whiskey strats, and you could take a lot of damage by running into pin cushions or just letting them shoot you. But here we've got to take a specific number of hits from the Ura guys. Okay, we should be good here. There I fall off the thing as, uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. So without, go ahead, Mike. No, you go ahead. Okay, without the War Whiskey, normally those rubbles uh, would take two hits Two to three hits, actually. But with Wear Whiskey, we can just one-shot them and go through. So it yeah. saves a lot of time. Crits also apply to damage you deal to environmental, environmental obstacles. So. Nice jump. Hello. Oh, he followed me. I, please stay there. I missed him. How did that happen? I'm dead. Wow, nice. how rude. How rude. Go away, Uro, dude. So you have to kill three of those Rattletails in order to get out. The Uro guy doesn't matter, and the fourth one doesn't matter, but uh, that's part of the reason why you use Wear Whiskey, is that uh, if you have all three of your grenades at the end, you can just throw them at the Rattletails, and even if they're burrowed underground, they'll still get killed. So two levels left. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys to cut off the uh, ending bid war when I enter the last screen of Tazzle Terminals, which is not for well, a fair bit, but I just wanted to give you a warning. So you guys have a little bit more time, around five minutes, I think. Put those donations in if you want to suddenly pull a notch or something. 
They've got these or, you know, make me soft lock the game. Place to yeah. Nice. Well, the URL must be in a shed. That is one of the options. They even sick this so, this level has the most optional shit. gates in all the game. None of them are not clippable, and they're all very easily clippable. Because for some reason, they made them all with huge spaces in between all of those pillars. This one, though, is kind of tricky sometimes, but uh, it's not that bad. So yeah, this is, uh, I've always described this as the level where you spend the lowest percentage of the time doing the intended thing. You pretty much just crush the developer's hopes and dreams in this level. You please go through the thing. Ah, uh, he didn't uh -oh. follow me. That's a shame. No black screen. So if the Ura at the end of that level follows you all the way to where Zia is, and then starts shooting you as you talk to Zia, uh, as, and then you die as the screen fades to the loading screen, when you come back to the bastion here, the camera will be black. You will not be able to see, and you will have to navigate in darkness. Once the kid gets that and I have actually done that in the past. It's not actually that hard, because there's an easy, straight line to take. But uh, at one point, I was on I world record pace all. in this category, and that Too happened. And it's, you know, I was like 30 or 40 seconds ahead of my yeah, best be time at that right. point. I was like, oh, cool, I just have to navigate the Bastion in the dark, and I get world record. No problem, right? How'd it go? I got world record. Oh. Nice, okay. <laughs> Zolf must be there all alone, just waiting. All his old friends and family. You know what's funny? Just a quick, uh, you know, kind of There's comment about, uh, you know, kind of this, the nature of so this game speedrun community. The in the past, I was like, I mean, so long in the past, I didn't even run this game, obviously, and Probably I picked it up in 2013. And then by, you know, eventually by the time like AGDQ well, rolled around, die. I was kind of like the Bastion guy. Uh, but that's really not the case anymore, and I'm really happy about it. There's a lot of very good Bastion stop. runners, Things including. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss names at some point if I do this again. But obviously, Snowy behind me has uh, done some great work in both any percent and this all story levels category. And Feral Pigman's also been very good. And Arc Dice, of course, has done a ton of work to help us out. Follow me. I took some damage that I really didn't want to take, but it's probably no, it's not that okay. I don't want to. Everything no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fall a couple extra times to get where I was Oh, you no should not have put me there. Oh, oh, that's uh -oh, so good. That's nice. Oh god. And Come on. Yeah. All right. Well, now I'm gonna have to do this guy very slowly. I guess there's nothing more to say. It's a shame. Tesla Terminal is, is a very long level and it's very hard to do perfectly. Mm. So many things can go wrong. Oh my god, I didn't realize how <laughs> slow this fight was. This guy's so tedious. Oh my god. He just has so many HP. Oh, we have Hopscotch now, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Hopscotch. hopscotch. Everyone okay, loves Hopscotch. Hopscotch. So, like, basically, uh, as we were explaining earlier on, uh, rolling uh, takes for the, from the momentum of uh, your mouse movement to go faster. Hopscotch does not do that. It's mandatory. It also has a very awkward timing for when you can jump again after a previous jump. It's like rolling, you can learn the rhythm pretty easily. Hopscotch rhythm, I don't even understand. And I've literally played this game over a thousand hours. It feels just so random. All right, so we're coming up on the last few screens of the level. So you have less than the amount of Twitch delay to get your donations in for the ending. I can tell. Why would so everyone in the audience should be way. donating. Unless All right, so now we're going to pick up our favorite weapon. Stay <laughs> this, this is a real shame about uh, how this game ends in terms of the speed run, is that uh, the the you go from going so fast <laughs> to going, to going fast. so <laughs> slow. <laughs> that swag slide, though. Hey, at least we don't have to deal with hopscotch anymore. Bastion nope. go around the thing. Yeah, the swag slide that you get there is actually useful because uh, it cancels the animation of the first thing that you do after that happens. And uh, if the first thing that you do is like the secret skill, then it's pretty nice. And let's go ahead and cut off the bid war, please. No going back. Ever. But then again, next, we detonate the cores. So what kind of ending is he going to do? 
away from here. That way, all of us. Evacuation. Not surprising. Evacuation, right? So actually remember to... <laughs> I will actually remember. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you guys are going to remind me, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, trust That's me. That's what remembering is. You know. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I don't think you understand. If I mess it up again, I will literally die. You like, I'll just be, I'll just be sitting here, fall. not alive anymore. Uh, so the main like optimization that we can do here in this final area, since we're stuck with this giant eyesore that uh, makes us travel very slowly, is just using the fewest attacks possible to kill things, and that is not a way that you do that. We're also going to try to conserve our uh, secret skills with the rams so that we can use them for maximum effect. I don't know why that guy took so long to come over. Ugh, this, the fourth dude there is always so uncooperative. This ain't a personal matter. In case you were wondering where Whiskey here is totally pointless. The ram will one-shot anything regardless. One thing's for sure. The era can't be happy. So I have no reason to bother killing this guy. He will just stop chasing me right now. So last year at SGDQ, I had an incentive to pick whether I saved or left Zolf. And I saved him, but unfortunately it is faster to move him. Uh, sorry, to move on. So this time around we're going to do that, and you can see what that looks like. I Spoiler, it's a lot less Bible thumpy. Rippy dippy. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, F to pay respects. It'll all be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't still thinking about that old leaving the city, Uppercase F. Are you? Press F to leave Zulf. <laughs> if that was actually the key to leave Zulf, that would be the best. <laughs> so again, here I'm trying to minimize the number of attacks I do, and for some reason at the beginning you again get that animation canceling thing. I don't really know why. And yeah, I also want to kill these guys before they actually hit me, even if it takes a few extra attacks, because if they hit me, I get knocked back. And that costs time, obviously. Since you move so slowly. <laughs> but yeah, this turns out to be faster than saving Sulf by around 20 seconds, I believe. Mm. Saving Sulf is very slow. <sighs> I keep swinging early. And we're just about done. Probably and now we're going to go for a ride. Oh, oh! Nice! <laughs> I didn't trigger it! I went for the swag! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Nailed it. Perfect, that's perfect. That's exactly, that was the swag. That's exactly how that should go. <laughs> All right. the swag evacuation ending. Thank you for the reminder. That's, yeah. yeah, dude, the evacuation ending is totally swag. Yeah. I am totally going to still accidentally pick restoration. 100% <laughs> Don't even say that, that word. No, don't, 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 don't try mean, saying that. You're going to, like, mean, think about yourself. that. <laughs> you can only have the evacuation yeah. ending. <laughs> I can't help it. My muscle memory. There dude. is only one option. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So for some reason, you have to spam click here to make the kid get up. get up. Like, you can't just hold the mouse down like every other time in the game. That's more like it. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll so, there's no actual time difference in terms of what ending you pick. Uh, it's just that time doesn't stop until you pick an ending, and then you can pick either now, one, and then there's something I want you to it doesn't see. really matter. But uh, it just so happens that since, you know, since Restoration is the only one you can pick in most categories, I just... Uh, Always go for that. Well, but not this time. Not this time. Evacuation, evacuation this time. Evacuation, yeah. And don't talk to NPCs. Of course. <laughs> so this time, at, when we, end, when we finish the run and I get the, uh, the round of applause or whatever, I know it's because I picked the right <laughs> so ending. Humble. <laughs> well, what? Are you saying I wouldn't get one? Okay, ready? Evacuation. He did it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> the best kind of applause of the one. High five, Volgen. You, you did it. You, High five. High five him. Like you, literally oh, the God. only thing I cared about in that run. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so that was Bastion. It's a really good game. Uh, 
And I apologize that uh, the, the commentary could have been a lot better if I were more awake. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed the run. I hope you guys did, too. Uh, thank you, all three of you guys hey, no on the problem. couch for being with me here. Uh, thank you for picking evacuation. Also, you guys should stick around because coming up after this game is Half Minute Hero by my friend Essentia and then Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep by my friend Adam Timothy Zero, both of my compatriots from RPG Limit Break. So please stick around for our little mini block. And Are we doing it? Left, sure. Man. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure would like to see you, uh, you're doing... You're doing... It's uh, off. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't know right. this is happening. <laughs> I haven't, like, warmed up at all, so I'm going to be totally yeah, my, out. My throat is pretty dry right now. Yeah, so. agreed. I'm going to need a be first fine. man. What do you say? I set myself... Fly the wind, it will take me back to my home, sweet home. <clears throat> Lie on my back, clouds are making way for me. Press F. I'm coming home, sweet home. I see. Your star, you left it burning for me. We'll Mother, be there I'm here to Oh, there's still a verse hey, left. Come on. There doesn't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> I am the wind. <laughs> I'd Eyes my open wide. I'd feel my heart in its glow. That note. <laughs> Come build that wall up to the side. Come build that wall up to the sky. One day your bird is gonna fly. Build that wall up. Thank you. Well done, Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> now, thank you for watching. <laughs> Good night. Okay, bye. <laughs>